What's going on today is Monday, and as you guys know, every single Monday we come at you, we spit fire, we spit the truth, and nothing but the truth, it's baby. my boy right here, Matt the Ninja. Matt the Ninja over here. Today we're going to talk about, will AI take over and ruin your life mm. and make you lose your job, lose your house, lose your car, lose your bullshit, okay? What's up, what's up, what's up, guys, okay? And by the way, we're also recording live over here on Instagram, so testing this sucker out. So, will AI... Jeopardize your job, in your opinion. What do you think, boss? Not necessarily my job, but... <laughs> this guy but, thinks his job is not going to be taken over by AI. Okay. And I'm going to show you how it can be. We're going to talk about that. I think the tools I use a lot, AI is going to be helpful and can take over a lot of things. But the creative mind, at least from my field where I'm a photographer, videographer, and all this other Listen, stuff, and a content I'm gonna creator... I don't know if AI is going to take over like that. I think it might. You might be in big shit. I think shit. there are a lot of tools and a lot of uh, cinematic stuff. Okay, cool. Listen, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you I something. Don't know. A lot of salespeople okay. are going to get slapped, in my opinion, when it comes to AI, especially if you're setting appointments. If your skill set is not in the higher echelons, whatever you want to call that word, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't have a high skill set in sales, you're fucked. Because with AI coming, right, AI is here. It's been here for the past year already, yeah. okay? And it's getting crazier and crazier. I went to an event last night, and the amount of shit that's out there right now, it's crazy. The amount of tools that are out there today with AI compared to what it was a year ago is wild. Yeah. And it's going to get – and it's not like it grows like, you know, like the internet blew no, no, up grows, like crazy. The internet grew up – the internet from 1996 to 1999 went like that. Then 2001 went like that. I mean, did you hear that they already did the first trial for the Neuralink, for the human trial? They already put that in the guy's... Yeah, but that's now? not... I mean, they use the AI for that shit, but I, I mean, check this out, bro. It's going to be but crazy. I'm it's that technology that's just going fast. It's going to it's gonna be so fast, you won't even be able to blink. Like, right now, think what about this. What if AI takes over that? What? The Neuralink. What if AI <laughs> takes over the Neuralink? But let me, let, me, let me tell you this. When it was 2001 or 2002, there was a lot of cell phones coming out, right? Yeah. And cell phones started ev you know, evolving, evolving, and now every single fucking six months is a new cell phone. Right, they may, I mean, there might not be so many features. <laughs> they probably the iPhone 16, iPhone 18, iPhone 20, whatever that shit is. What, what, what number is it up? I don't right, know. Now we're at 15. Know. You're at 15? Samsung is at 26. Just kidding. 24. But 24. <laughs> <laughs> this guy sells cell phones, so he knows. But the iPhone 15, 16, whatever it is, it's not so different compared to the first one. It's like compared to the 15 I'm talking about, the 14, the 13, right? It's not so much different. Mm. Camera a little bit better, uh, whatever. But, bro, what's happening right now with AI? What's happening right now in AI, every week and every month, it's changing rapidly. Like, if you guys know about Google Bard, Google Bard is just as good, if not even better almost right now, I've than heard. ChatGPT. It's wild. Now, you may say, Michael, my job is safe. No, it's not. Every single person that has a job is going to be affected in some positive or negative way if you do, if you do, not, take, if you do not pay attention. Last night, I saw a way where an appointment center is no more needed. Think about that. If you're a generator... Generating appointments. If you're a prospector, prospecting for appointments. If you're setting appointments up, nobody fucking needs you anymore. I don't fucking need you. Think about that. As a company, you're not needed. Because the AI technology can have a conversation with the customer without you with a voice or text. And literally set an appointment. And literally yeah. set, and it's working. People well, are using it already. I mean, a lot of people are also using it for, you know, DMs on social media as well. To reel in people and or you, like you all those videos are like, yeah, comment this so we can get a free PDF or you a free You don't even know if it's real or fake, bro. Yeah. You have no idea. Oh, yeah, yeah. You have no idea. You don't know. There's girls out there you think are real, bro, you're talking to they're fake. A friend of mine who he works in marketing consulting, uh, and he I guess talks to so many people and all that stuff that he has a whole AI automated system for his messages and all that stuff, bro. I never know if I'm actually talking to him you don't know. if I text him. You don't know. I'm telling you, AI is crazy and there's so many things like that. A, a person that sets appointments, gone now. Think about it. I don't need to hire anybody. I literally have the computer, and it costs me way less. Mm -hmm. It works 24 fucking 7. It does what I tell it to do. There's yeah. no lunch break. There's no coffee break. None of that bullshit. It just fucking works. I don't have to worry about its emotions. That's the only thing AI doesn't have right now, emotions. If it has emotions, iRobot, Schwarzenegger come back, Terminator <laughs> shit. I mean, yeah. it's going to be crazy. But, like, yeah, it's yeah. so insane. It's so insane to see the future. It's, like, literally in the palm of our hands. My question to you is this. What are you doing to study the marketplace to understand what is out there in AI or whatever it may be? Mm. What are you – like, listen, you want to be the best entrepreneur. You want to make millions of dollars. Are you taking the time to study what's out there? Are you taking the time to educate yourself on what is out there in the marketplace? Are it's you good. just sitting home waiting and hoping that somehow a miracle is going to happen and success arbitrarily floats around and says, there you are, motherfucker. I want you. Yeah. It's not going to happen. You gotta, you gotta go out there and, and hunt and yeah. learn and educate yourself. Absolutely. And you know what's crazy? How many events do people most people don't even go to events nowadays? 
Why not? Why not? Why don't you go spend $500, $100, $1,000 on these events, $5,000, and go spend some time and network with other people and see what's out there in the marketplace. Absolutely. In your industry. You're in health? Awesome. You're in medical? Awesome. You're in insurance? Awesome. You're selling toothpicks? Awesome. Meet some fucking dentists. I don't fucking know. Whatever it may be, go out there and study and educate yourself a little bit. Do you think in a few years we'll see like that almost – Star Wars world where it's like robots are serving the food. I mean, de- like in places like McDonald's. You hear something crazy? I mean, I know some. Let me tell you something. 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 And he said that meme, huh? <laughs> I actually did that video. <laughs> I told I did the guy who fucking pushed me off the zip line. <laughs> but let me tell you something. <laughs> I keep thinking about that guy. Yeah. Let me tell you something. I was in where was I? I was in San Diego. Mm. I went to a Japanese sushi spot. Guess who served me? You're never gonna guess. Mr. Robot. <laughs> Mr. Fucking Robot. Robot came, brought the, I'm like, what the, f-? and it brought the plate, and I'm like, holy shit, the only thing I had to do, the server came and took the plate off the robot and put it on the table. A robot, like a little vacuum robot came by, and it drives by, are you okay, napkins, I was like, what the hell? That was pretty awesome, I forget the name of the place, but it was awesome, it was a great experience, I'm like, wow, they're doing it, they're doing it already in San Diego. Would you get an AI robot to do interviews for you? Absolutely freaking <laughs> lutely not because it won't have the emotions that I have. I pro- Listen, me interviewing people, nobody – AI cannot take that away. Excuse me, boss. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that can happen. I don't think in the marketplace that you can get uh, – to. you cannot replace the human – I mean, at least from what I see right now, to change – to have a robot have empathy and emotions mm-hmm. – I don't know how it can do that. Maybe in the future. I don't know. But like right now, it's all going to be straight. Because remember, co- yeah. computers are all logic based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's zero emotion. They, they don't, Algorithms it's all probability. It's all yeah. formulas. And emotion is not probability. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> think of it this way when you love a girl, and you've been there, we've yeah. all been there, you love a girl, do you realize your actions have zero logic to it? You're talking to her late night. You're willing to sleep less. You're willing to wake up early. You're willing to do yeah. whatever. You're willing to drive the miles, take the flights, do whatever the fuck. You're willing to do everything and anything all because of the emotion of love. It's the most powerful emotion on the planet. Love and then sex are the most two powerful emotions. People will kill for sex. People will kill for love. I saw a video of a guy who literally saw his wife cheating, ran into her into the, into the barbershop, stabbed her a, th- a bunch of times, and then he, and he killed himself in the My barbershop. Goodness. All because she cheated. It's crazy. Love, powerful emotion. Sex, powerful emotion. Obsession. Right, I know that if I say that word on Instagram, YouTube, all these places, they fucking try to ban you. So my editors know to beep that shit. But emotional, uh, uh, relational intimacy. There you go. Okay, for those of you that want to ban me and stuff, shit. But like, those are powerful emotions, bro. Yeah. 